Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So earlier this week, I posted a video letting you know that in this year's annual feature update, version 24H2, um, Microsoft could enable BitLocker encryption by default, which will also include Windows 11 Home, which is currently not the case. And I'll leave that video if you would, if you would like some more information in the end screen. Now, just to let you know that some more, more information has come to light, so just to keep you guys posted, and the first is that um, some have also noticed now that Microsoft has already enabled BitLocker encryption by default in Windows 11 24H2 RTM bolts, which are released to manufacturing bolts that Microsoft releases to their original equipment manufacturers so they can test the update and um, 24H2 on their devices for hardware and compatibility issues, drivers and so on before the annual feature update rolls out to the general public. So obviously this is the first uh, indication that suggests that um, BitLocker encryption being turned on by default um, will be rolling out with 24H2. And then the second one is that Microsoft has recently confirmed that they have uh, adjusted the requirements to enable device encryption. And in a statement to Windows Latest, they have said, and I'm quoting, we have adjusted to enable device encryption so that it is automatically enabled when doing clean installs on Windows 11. And that adjustment is the removal of modern standby and or HSTR validation and untrusted DMA ports check. So that's the second indication now that there's a very good chance that BitLocker encryption will be enabled by default in this year's annual feature update, Windows 11 version 24H2. Now, as I've mentioned previously, uh, device encryption uses BitLocker to encrypt um, the data applied to all system drives. So it doesn't just apply to your main C drive or the drive your OS is installed on. If you have any other drives on your system and in your system, it also applies um, that BitLocker encryption to um, those uh, system drives. And because of this, obviously, having your BitLocker key is of the utmost importance because if you lose that key, um, obviously, then you can't access your, your OS, which obviously is a major issue. And this is the kind of gripe I had with this change is because um, for your average Joe, your, your, your normal home user who maybe is not that computer literate, um, if BitLocker encryption is enabled by default, and they don't know that they have to keep that key for whatever reason. And and then obviously if you lose that key and you can't get back into your system, it's a massive headache for everyone involved. So that's the that's a bit of an issue I have with this uh, move now that Microsoft is making. And also you may well know that Windows um, can also request the BitLocker recovery key um, while resetting or reinstalling the operating system. So it doesn't just... Uh, apply to a clean install if you are um, doing a recovery and um, kind of resetting your pc you could also need um, your bitlocker recovery key in that process so obviously this is a bit of a concern especially for those you know just your average so-called home user so um, bitlocker also has a list of hardware requirements that include tpa 1.2 or newer chip and uefi and obviously, since Windows 11 checks for these changes during installation, um, it's quite you know, difficult to get around um, this issue unless obviously you make some registry hacks or you use um, the third-party app and tool Rufus as an example so where you can disable BitLocker automatic, automatic device encryption as part of those um, settings um, uh, using Rufus as an example. But nonetheless, uh, just putting it out there. So Microsoft now um, has officially confirmed now um, that they basically will be applying this by default with Windows 11 24H2. And if anything changes regarding this, obviously, um, I'll keep you guys in the loop. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.